Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode. But we are in a lot of trouble. So. Our very best centre-back that I think we've ever had in the existence of Sao Paulo centre-backs. Matthias Ramos. Um... He's, he's going to be leaving us. He's basically accepted a deal. I've tried to give him a new contract. Basically, he wanted double the money he was on, and the value went up three million. And I was like, "Do you know what? Fifteen million. So Nice are trying to sign him. He's most probably going to be gone. Um, so I am trying to bring in another centre back. And I think I found him. From Manchester City, English centre-back in uh, Dini Fitzhenry. For Fitzhenry, his leadership, his, his determination, bravery, balance, everything is right. And I, I'm, I bid £10 million. So we could make £5 million profit. Need to work on the headering and the tackling. But he's got the youngster it factor that we would need to move on in the future. So I'm all right with that. Um, as well as the same time, we have lost a few players as well. So, if I can go down, so where are we? Uh, Tete has now let. No, hold on, we gotta go back a bit. Uh, Angelino, fucking hell, I can't remember who's gone where now. Uh, bro, we've 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 had a lot of players leave. So that wasn't while I was here. This is recently. So here, Carlos. Uh, Jose Carlos has gone to Caribia for £425. Lucy has gone out on loan. Joel Batista has gone to Porofuco, rising to a million, just under a million pounds, but we do have a sell on fee. Angeline Aldelando has gone to DL Pro for £4.7 million. We still have a percentage of a sell on as well. Uh, Paulo Fernando gone out on loan. Manasias has gone for £375. Tete has gone to DL Pro. They've signed two of our players for a lot of money. Who are these? Chinese. Okay, that's fine. Um, they signed in for a million pounds. 65k for Carlos Antonio. Not the one that I've been starting, though. But that's fine. Uh, he has left us. Not real much in it with a sell on Cruz. Lewin has gone to Juventus 2D uh, for 500, uh, for 5.25 thousand pounds. Uh, Ellen Irelia, the, the player that we had on the bench, um, has gone. And there's an option for a £6 million at the end of the season for them. Um, also, Jose Edson has also gone out on loan as well for the season. No option to buy. Just trying to get this youngster some more playtime um, out there as well. 19 years of age. Got a bit of a decent future, but not too much for us. Santos as well has gone out on loan as well. The 22-year-old. There isn't there is preferred position is going to go to the end of the season. Still not someone that is going to be doing something for us. So I would like get him out and get him some play time. Gabriel Varon uh, has gone to Sporting Lisbon on loan for the season as well. There is an option for a two million pounds as well. Um, preferred position on the wing, playing a winger as well. They're paying, uh, I think it's fifty percent of his. Oh, they're playing more. Oh no, hold on. I've got to try and work out here. They're paying 21,000. So half of his loan, their his wages as well. And also Siganga, uh, the youth player that we just recently saw that has come through the youth that I had. Really good finishing, good dribbling. Someone that I pin our sort of future on a little bit as well for the striker position. Um, been with us his whole career. Uh, starting to get some more game time now uh, for us. But I've sent him out on loan to Stoke in the Championship just to get a little bit more competitive for him out on loan uh, for him as well, just to get a bit of the play time. The season will be starting for them soon, I think. Uh, hopefully, he will start getting play time for Carl Robertson and Stoke City uh, for them as well. But as he's just signed on loan, he's not registered just yet. And he will be going up against this bloke here, who um, Emre Tzegzego, um is a bit of an FM god. Uh, if you know him, you buy him, he scores. So uh, I'm very interested to see how he does in that battle to be getting starting position at Stoke City and the championship and trying to do stuff there as well. So let's see how things go from there. Uh, but that is uh, where we are with that. 
So because we've got um, Matthias leaving, we've also had bids for Lucas as well, 34 years of age. I'm not ready to let him go just yet uh, due to the fact of that I can't find a decent enough replacement for him. He's just got where we're going and he's close to breaking the record for most clean sheets in a season as well. So that's another thing that's keeping me wanting to get him to stay as well at the same time. But let's get into this. We've recently just beat these in the last episode, 2-1. So I'm hoping that we will be able to carry on the good run of form that we are on at this precise moment and see how we do. But at the same time, we are building for the future. Things are sort of going our way. Uh, things are looking up. Uh, I understand now if you're a Brazilian club and you have a really good youth system, how frustrating it must be when European clubs just go nom 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 nom. Basically, it must be the most frustrating thing as a Brazilian fan um, for it. So let's see how things go here. And that is 1-0. Galano. What a header that is by Ramos. Or is that by Lucio? Lucio there showing Ramos that he should be staying. I'm hoping he rejects the contract and stays here. All right, Galano, if he's going to shoot, you need to go there, my friend. That is the best. Oh, that, that is very clever. None of them were picking up with a good... Uh, Augusta, Augusto, me gusta. Wide open, first time shot. Goalkeeper does horrifically wrong. And that is able to do it. Galerno got two assists here. Both goals coming from the defensive positions. Don't go wrong. We're starting spraying the ball around. We're getting over. That is a horrific pass. Come on, lads. Let's not do anything stupid, shall we? The funniest thing is, right, I was thinking about this when I was signing the defender, the Englishman. You imagine if you're an Englishman and you get the opportunity to play in Brazil. Your mind must be going, should I? Because you know, right, when you think about it, you know if you do a good job that European clubs will come sniffing. But the culture difference is huge. Unless this guy's from Leeds, the culture must be like massive. Who knows? Let's see if you accept it first. Uh, Sayato does not want to come at all. I tried to speak to his agent, and he was not interested whatsoever. So, that was out the window. <laughs> 2 new up, and we are controlling this. We're pushing ourselves now up to fifth. But and we need everyone to get their games in hand done. So I can really see whereabouts we are. Oh, that's a great goal. Peeling for offside, but it's going to be given as a goal here. Yeah, good, good goal. Good timing for their goal as well. Straight after half time. Right, half time here. Come on, lads. Let's see this game out. They get their goal at the end of half time, which give them a little bit more confidence going into the second half. A little bit more worrying for us. But at the same time, I'm confident. I think coming into this now, where we are now, this is the most confident I've felt in this team. And this is just a default 
bit up, really. Oh. Augusto gets his second goal of the game. His second goal as well of the season. And you just can't complain with the man, can you? He's, he's on form. Nandinho, Carlos, oh, that's a hat, oh, no, that's his very first goal, 25 yards of the season, of the goal, a goal, a far out, fuck me, mouth, not working, but that's his first ever goal for Sao Paulo as well, and we've turned the minus five goal difference now to plus six, so we're doing something right, and I'm happy. Trying to get some of the players that a little bit less match fitness out there now. Good header here. Out wide, Jar Jar. What's he going to do with it? Trying to find some space, which he has. Cross it in. Augusta, Jar Jar, Artur. Ah, you bitch. Hits the woodwork there. That's the first time we've hit the woodwork in today's game. Got 10 minutes left of the game as well. Also, while we're doing this, trying to... Uh, yeah, I've done it already. Okay. Commanders have won against the Cardinals. More points for me. Chiefs need a fucking win, and the Raiders need a win, and I will be a very happy boy. Right, near the end here, 40, what, four, there we go, 4-1, great win now, we are starting to cook, and that is a good omen for us for next season, and moving forward as well, I'm loving this, loving this, loving playing in Brazil, the wacky rules I'm loving, right, I'll see you guys for the quarterfinals of the Copa Libertadores. So. When I said we could be in trouble defensively, I am right because uh, the Englishman uh, got cancelled. I still don't understand how he got cancelled, uh, but he's got cancelled. And now we're going after this youngster from Uruguay. Uh, he's played 23 times, got three goals uh, for them, three assists. So he's, he's doing performantly really well. Really great bravery, good work rate, excellent tackling, good marking, need to work on the headering. But he's got the attributes, if I'm looking for it, is someone. We need to sort of go, sort out the composure and stuff. But that's something we could do. And he's very, very good at it. He still hasn't left uh, Ramos. Still under bid, uh, bid from, is it Nice? Yeah, from Nice for 15 million. Um, so once he's gone, he'll be gone. Um, and also, Marcus Antonio is under a bid here from um, AZ Akma. Um, as well, we have just uh, uh, accepted that bid as well. Um, he's on a bit of wage, fifty-two thousand a week. Yeah, we all of this, but he's on eighty-six. That's going to be gone. So we, we, Eric Pereira also going to be going as well. He hasn't stopped complaining. Uh, we have also got um, also trying. I've listed William as well, Strasbourg and uh, New York. Also want him as well. So he will most probably go out alone as well to get some game time to the end of the season. And let's see how he does there. But this is interesting. Right. Now we've got this really weird game against uh, Godi Cruz, who currently sit fifth in the Argentinian uh, League Cup. Um... Why, why am I looking to the League Cup for? Can we not look at the League? Have I not got that? I've got that open. Yeah. So they currently sit fifth in the... Oh, so are they just... I don't understand. So... Okay, so the overall, they sit 15th. Played 28, won 10, drawn 10, lost 8, plus 2, 40 points. 
Uh, so overall table, that's them. The Argentina league confusing me again. Uh, but the guy we've we've signed on loan as the striker is cup tie, but that's fine because Kue Ferreira is coming into this. As two appearances, one goal, he's coming back into the team now to try and carry on his form in the Copa Lipadores as well. So let's see how things go here. Right, they've won their last three, lost two. So now it's our, our time to try and shine here. Right. Here it goes again. Lovely ball out wide. Oh, that could have been an excellent start here. Corner kick here now. Oh, what a goal. What a goal here for Ricardo Augusto. I'm going back to the keeper here, just so, sir. Going long, wins the ball, but it's going over here to the Romano. Leyes, Rivera, oh, uh, I think I pressed the wrong button there. It's fine. One new up away from home here in Argentina. Right, here we go. Oh, Roberto. Galeno, try to go over the top, doesn't get there. Ricardo, Lucio, Carlos, Ramos, Galamo, finds Souza, back to Galamo, and that's 2-0. That is... Excellent play there. The Ramos to Galermo. Galermo out wide to Souza. Souza, first time chip pass over the top to Galermo. Smash it across the face of the keeper. He's on form again. Right, Lucio did well there to let it run. The Ramos, Carlos Augusta. Souza. Two nil, thirty three minutes. Come on, lads. This is a great performance. We're letting them in, though, a little bit. It's a little bit of the worry. We're letting them in a little bit more. But Souza, two assists in the game so far. Galermo with the goal with Ricardo. Now we're going for another long throw here. Sestream trying to do it. This is a lovely, lovely Ramos. Oh, great save. Galermo cross it back, but the defender is there. Perfect. Right. Come on, lads. Layers. Oh, that's great by Romero. Come on. Oh, that's really... I like that. There's nowhere to go. Give it back to the keeper. And he will pass it out and get the ball going again. Oh, this is really nice. It's in our own half. They're not really pressuring us. We've got plenty of time to come out here. 
and we've we've found in the past is that that's a lovely through ball. Oh fuck me, fuck me. Absolutely fucking sexual. Oh. Oh, that was better than sex. Oh, you you don't understand how sexual that goal was. Mm, no, and then we're letting them in now. That was a poor idea, a poor execution. Just don't do anything. Just, come on, let's let's do another let's do another counter attack sexual football. Oh, here we go again. Galermo. Oh. Pure, pure sexual football. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Again, the vision for these free kicks. He's done it again. No one's marking him. He finds them and power shots. It. Oh my god, it's so good. We are so good. I am so good. This is absolutely excellent. And I don't know how to explain. Don't concede now. Oh, you twats. We'll bring William on, Jar Jar as well. Let's bring Eric on just to make him a little bit happy. Our tour. Right, come on. Let's see this off now. Let's see this off and let's make sure we get the dub. Come on, now let's, let's see how Ramos can do. Gives it back. Oh, he wins it. Lovely ball. Oh my God, how did that not go in? How did that not go in? There's a little bit of statement made there. If you don't want to be at the club, I will sub you. But that is full time. What an episode that has been for us. Pure sexual football today you just cannot deny that we are bringing the flair to brazil right thank you guys ever so much for watching we will be back tomorrow for more peace